Hi, my name is Roxy. Welcome to this mountain bike hopper educational video and we're going to look at how to jump. And this is a video for beginner jumpers, so how you can get into jumping if you haven't jumped your mountain bike before. Why do I choose the mountain bike hopper to teach people to jump? I've been a full-time coach for over 10 years now and I love the mountain bike hopper because it's a very safe tool to start jumping. The arch is pretty amazing. It's very light and very durable and you can really get into the feeling of jumping without fearing a lot of consequences. If you're out there and if you look at jumps, you don't know how, if they're shaped well. The landing is usually kind of rough and the advantage of the mountain bike hopper is you can start small, work your way up, and you can select nice and grassy landings to start with. In case you haven't watched them, I have two more videos in the mountain bike hopper educational series, and that is what you have to consider before jumping and also how to perform a bunny hop. My advice is to watch these videos before watching this one. In order for the jump to kick you up nice and safe, instead of bucking you forward, you want to stay centered in your bike at takeoff. This means you want to have the same position in the bike that you would have in the flat. Then you want to preload dynamically and extend upwards and this way you have a nice jumping phase and then you also have nice long limbs to absorb the impact when you land. A lot of times when people j start jumping, they have a fear of going over after the jump. And that is a pretty legitimate fear. So what really helps people is to put the little jump near a plateau so you can jump up on the plateau. And this eliminates the fear of going over the handlebar right after the takeoff. Here are the individual movements. You wanna approach in a running speed, so you don't wanna go too slow. So approach pretty fast and stand nice and tall, heavy on your feet. Shortly before the end of the jump, you want to preload dynamically over your feet, so through the legs. And then when you take off, you wanna stretch into the bike and take the bike up in, into yourself. Before the landing, you can then extend and absorb the landing. In case you have not watched the other two videos and you don't know how to bunny hop, then that's no problem. You can still have a lot of fun with the mountain bike hopper. The minimum prerequisite you should have, those, so the skill you should already have before you jump is definitely a good body wedge. This means that you can create tension between your handlebars and your pedals so you don't need to be clipped in to keep your bike with the body as soon as you're airborne. I hope my tips helped you and now you feel ready to try your first jumps with the mountain bike hopper ramps. Keep us posted, comment below if you liked it and tag the mountain bike hopper on all your practice sessions. Goodbye and thank you for watching.